So it's been a while since I've made a video. I, I wasn't really thinking of making a video today, but something happened and I might as well make a video. I'm in my mom's car, the RAV4, and I had to go pick up this. It's a uh, valve cover gasket for a new car. I've had it for a couple months. I've done some stuff to it and I haven't filmed anything. But since I just thought about it, I might as well make a video. So it's a valve cover gasket for, actually, we'll just wait a second. I'll show you in a bit. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be changing the valve cover gasket, plugs and wires. And uh, yeah, I'll explain everything in a second. Okay, so we're here. We have the spark plugs. Uh, I don't know if you could tell, it's got oil on it. So that's why I thought it'd be a good idea to change the uh, valve cover. We got the new plugs, which I already checked for gap because uh, I kind of already started. That's why I got the video idea. And then I got the wires from NGK, same with the spark plugs. But the car is a uh, 1996 Mazda Miata with a 1.8 liter motor. So, hold on. Let me uh, put that. All right. So we kind of already started, then I thought of the video idea. So that's where everything came from. So we'll go through how to do it. It's pretty easy. You're gonna start off by uh, taking all these wires out carefully, unless you're replacing them, you could just yank them out, but it's pretty much just pull straight up and it'll be all good. Then from here, I'm gonna put them up here. Uh, up here. I already had the spark plugs out. That's what I just showed you. And then from there, this hose, this PCV hose, and this hose right here have to come out. It's just grab some pliers, squeeze that, squeeze this. Okay, well, I guess they're not that tight, but take some pliers, squeeze it, push it around like the corner or something, pull this out, and then pull the hoses out. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like. In a second. Actually, yeah, let's just go grab the tool. I'm gonna come over here, squeeze a little clamp from here to here, drag it around the corner so it's out of the way. Same with this one. Squeeze that little clamp, pull it out, and then this is just gonna kind of wiggle out. Be kind of careful with it, you don't want to break it. Because then you have a bigger issue and you got to replace this whole hose, which honestly isn't that big of an issue. It's just kind of a pain and more work than your intended. But you're going to yank this out. You're going to yank this out. I'll show you what that looks like right now. And bam, out. So this is just sitting on here. Just pull it out. This one's sitting on here. Just pull it out. All right. And then from there, you're going to take all of these bolts out. Uh, I would recommend break them all loose evenly and then just take them out completely Then from there the valve cover should just slide off and then we'll get to the gasket right now um, Let me check all these bolts out All right, now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not the smartest man in the world. They're all out pretty much but I'm not gonna remember where any of these bolts go and I don't know if they're all the exact same size. I'm not gonna tell you they are, cause I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna cut holes in pretty much every spot they're in and then just put them in the hole and make myself kind of a little diagram. I'll show you guys when it's done, but uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's start uh, poking holes in this thing. And bam, I'll put the little Mazda logo cause that's how it says it. And then I just wrote front just to make sure. And I pretty much just poke the hole where every hole is and then put the bolt in the right spot so I wouldn't forget. Uh, yeah, I really don't want to mess this up, so I like to keep track of where I put stuff. They are different sizes too. I did just learn that. All right, from there, uh, I want to say that's every bolt. And then you want to slowly just try to kind of pry your way on it or just hit it pretty softly with a uh, rubber mallet. You don't want to pry under it with anything metal. 
so you don't scratch the surface of either of them. And if you have chipping paint like me, try your hardest not to get any of that in the motor because you'll mess it up. And uh, let's see if I can get this off. All right, exactly like that. You literally just hit it on the side while giving it a little bit of a pull. And then from there, it should just come most of the way off. All right, never mind. After about two seconds of looking, this is gonna be a bolt on the back of here. And a bolt, I think, right about here. And this is for the 1.8 motor. I can't tell you about the 1.6, but the 1.8 has a bolt here and here. And those you wanna take out and then the valve cover should just pop right off. All right, and after that, the valve cover's off and it's sitting right there. So, I was right, it's gonna be a bolt right there and that bolt right there. It's gonna be a 12 mil and it's gonna be kind of hard to get to, so use the box stand and if you're cool, use the ratcheting one. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the surface where the gasket sits and then I'm gonna go ahead and clean the surface on the valve cover. But uh, here's a good time to check your timing belt. Make sure you're all good on that. And uh, take a look at your motor. This motor only has about 70,000 miles on it. And from what I could tell, uh, it's looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the surfaces and then I'll show you how to put the gasket in. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention, don't use a metal scraper. It'll damage the valve cover, uh, seal place and it. It won't seal right. Use a plastic scraper and uh, be very careful. Don't scratch anything, cause then it won't seal right and then you're gonna have problems. All right, that's it. All right, so we cleaned the valve cover. We clean the mating surface to the valve cover. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our new valve cover. And this one goes on one way. Uh, you'll be able to tell when you place it on. But uh, these two little seals that go straight down, that's gonna go into where the um, cam gears are. And you're gonna put in corner by corner and uh, you don't wanna slide your finger across the gasket because that is how you stretch out the gasket and make it not fit correctly. So you're gonna slowly push in part by part of the valve cover gasket. You're gonna take the valve cover put it in the car, and I'll show you what that looks like after. So, I didn't realize you guys couldn't see, but the valve cover gasket's all installed. You're literally just pushing it on. Remember, don't slide your finger, because you'll stretch the gasket. Just push it on piece by piece, and it only sits on one way. It does not sit on any other way, one way. And then from there, put that in the car. I'll show you once it's in the car. All right, and it's all in. So this little metal bracket right here that holds the uh, O2 sensor plug, it might sit under it and that might not, that might be the reason it doesn't sit all the way down. So you're just gonna lift it up, push the valve cover under it, and then it should all sit right. So you're just gonna make sure it's all pressed in evenly. And then from there, uh, I'm gonna start with all of the bolts that went across here for my little diagram. Um, and then these have to be pushed in, in a certain uh, uh what's it called sequence so you're gonna do from the inside out in a circular motion if that makes sense so uh, i'm gonna do these three in the middle then here 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 and here and then i'm gonna put the uh pcv hose back on with the mounting clips and push the hoses in and uh, I'll show you what that looks like in a second. All right, and once you have all your bolts in nicely, you're gonna torque each one to six foot pounds or about 72 inch pounds. And uh, like I said, you're gonna go in a circular motion so it tightens down evenly. All right, and then we're gonna torque them all down, then we'll go to the next step. All righty, we got all the bolts torqued down. We tighten that one and that one. And now all we gotta do is put in our hoses and that's the valve cover. I couldn't get that hose back on. So then we're gonna take our needle nose pliers. I'm gonna take our clamp. And 
that's your valve cover changed with the gasket. All you gotta do is push your wires back in. Well, put your spark plugs in, then put your uh, wires back in. But uh, I'm also gonna change the plugs too. So all I gotta do is come over here. Actually, we'll go ahead and put the spark plugs in. And like I said, I already checked the gap. Gap's good. Go ahead and open this up. And it's pretty easy to change spark plugs. You're just gonna carefully drop it in there to the hole so it's straight. You know, all of them. And then you're gonna torque it down. Let's see what the torque spec is and I'll go ahead and tell you. It's gonna be, we'll say about 16 foot pounds on the spark plugs. And uh, there you go, you're gonna go ahead and put those in and uh, torque them down. All right, one thing to note is uh, when you use your socket, when you put it in there, make sure you tighten it by hand until it stops, then go ahead and torque it down to make sure it's going in straight so you don't mess up the threads. And then at that point, I don't even know what to do. I think you're screwed at that point. But uh, spark plugs are in and hand tightened. We're gonna go ahead and torque them down to 16 foot pounds. And then from there, we're gonna change out the wires, push those things in, start it up and see how everything looks. All right, spark plugs are all uh, what's it called? Torqued in. So I've just been kind of cleaning up as we go. Just put stuff where it needs to be, sort of. We'll clean up the rest of them a little bit. But uh, yeah, from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, pull out the wires. And uh, I'm gonna replace them exactly where they were just to make sure everything is gonna. All right, so we just finished replacing the wires and the plugs. Old we'll valve guess it. So this is how it looks. These just are. Uh, you just pull these out straight out. Uh, they're kind of hard sometimes, so just take your time, kind of wiggle it out, but uh, try not to put uh, too much pull on it if you're trying to reuse them. But uh, again, it's going to go 4, 1, 2, 3 in for the 1.8 liter. And uh, yeah, that's the, that's the video. Here, I'll show you the uh, little thing I found. This is what I found on the... Uh Miata forums, it's gonna be 1.6 and the 1.8's on this side, you just can't see it. But like I said, it's gonna be for the first one, four, one, two, three, for the 1.8, and then the 1.6 would be this one right here. But uh, we're working with the 1.8. So after you've gotten everything all set up, you're gonna come inside. You're gonna come inside the car. And you're gonna go ahead and start it. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and uh, insert it. I like to wait for the seatbelt thing to go away. Clutch in. <laughs> go ahead and give it a start. You're gonna wait till the temperature gauge is at full temperature. And then you're gonna come back out and uh, Check your valve cover for any leaks and uh, see if anything pops up. So we'll come back when that's fully warmed up. All right, so it's been about, I wanna say 10 minutes and it looks like we're fully heated up. No engine light, oil pressure's looking good. Everything's looking good. Idle's chilling where it should be. Alrighty, let's go check to make sure we don't have any leaks. So we're gonna come outside. You might not be able to hear it because I have an exhaust leak from right there. Right where that O2 sensor is, exhaust leak. I gotta get that fixed, but uh, no leaks, everything's running good. I would call that a success. But uh, make sure you give it the time to uh, get to full temperature and then uh, make sure everything's not leaking and you should be all set. But uh, the whole reason I had to do this was because I had a misfire, wasn't driving the car, then I, so I wanted to change the spark plugs and stuff. And uh, then I changed the spark plugs and I realized there's oil, so I made the video. Look at my dog. 
But uh, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the video. All right, you probably can't even see me, but uh, that's the end of the video. We just finished up, checked up everything. Everything was good. You guys saw the new car, which is the Miata. Um, don't know when this video is gonna come out, so I'm not gonna say which day it is, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully I should be making more videos, but that's a valve cover, wires, and plugs for a 1996 Mazda Miata. So, uh, have a good day, and that's the end of the video.